August 9th. I pulled off the Rudock exit around 7 p.m. Normally there isn't much to see, but that wasn't true this time. I noticed a dozen vehicles parked under the interstate. Someone dressed in a heavy cloak and a bright green mask that resembled a single eye came out to meet me. In my rearview mirror, I noticed two more lurking around. They asked me for my name, I gave it and was allowed to park. I have a feeling if I was someone different, this would have ended badly. I was escorted to an airboat where I was greeted by several more members of the Eye. None of them said a word, and all of them were packing heavy artillery. They brought me to a massive wooden structure in the middle of the bayou, built under the blood-red cypress trees. It resembled an enormous cabin, but built on massive pilings. Before they allowed me inside, they gave me a blank white mask. This group clearly values secrecy. Inside there were hundreds of hooded people. Each of their faces were covered by identical bright green one-eyed masks. Only eight of us were dressed in what I would consider normal clothes and plain white masks. We were kept in the center of the great hall while the others mingled around us. None of them spoke to us and we didn't speak to each other either. The presence of an armed escort encouraged us not to. Eight of us were to be inducted, but only six of us made it through. We were asked to recite the pledge one after the other. I was second, and I gave it with no trouble. The next guy and the woman at the end weren't so lucky. There were no second chances. They escorted them to an empty room located in the back of the hall. It seemed empty, save for a single television. Playing on the television was static. They placed them in the room and closed the door. I could see the room get brighter through the cracks, but the light looked dirty, almost like static. I heard them scream, but it sounded distant, far away, like it was on the television. Then there was silence. They opened the door and there was nothing. I don't know where they went nor how. Maybe they dropped through the floor. Regardless, I'm pretty sure I won't see them again. More than likely, no one will see them again. After the ceremony, they explained that we were not quite members of the Order yet. But this was the beginning of our journey. They handed us the next tape to be watched before our next meeting in eight days. They placed the six of us back on the airboat and sent us on our way. As the cabin shrank from the distance, I could hear them celebrating. Congratulations on giving your pledge. Don't forget those words. Any member who forgets their pledge will be fed to the children of the static. You have only taken the first step in your journey to be closer to the eye. Now, we must ask you to burn away your former life so that you can make room for your new one. In eight days, you will meet with the Order again, and you will be required to bring something of importance, something that you care deeply about. Something that is priceless only to you, you will cast it into the fire. If your sacrifice is found wanting, you will be cast into the fire instead. I trust you will take this threat seriously. 